What's up guys, Erwin Tech here, back at it again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade your Chrome OS version on your school Chromebook. You might be wondering, why should I downgrade my Chrome OS version on my school Chromebook? When a new Chrome OS update rolls out, they patch many exploits and other things like that. So that's basically how a lot of my videos get patched. So downgrading can open up a bunch of possibilities, like using the extension remover again and all sorts of other stuff. Before we get into the video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can hit 70,000 subscribers. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button so I can make more videos like these. We are so close to 70k. Also, don't forget to go follow my Twitter linked in the description below. I post YouTube updates, random stuff, and if you're interested, the link never leaves the description below. You know what else is in the description below? My Discord invite, so make sure to join. You can chat with me and the other members, contribute to YouTube videos just like these, and so much more like fun game nights. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's just get straight into the video. Here are all the membership shoutouts for today's video, make sure you go subscribe to their channels and let's just get back to the video. Alrighty you guys, so before we begin this tutorial, you're going to need a personal computer of any kind and your school Chromebook. You will also need a 15 gigabyte or larger USB flash drive. Then you also need to go to these two websites, which will be linked in the description below. Then what you want to do is go to the chrome100.dev website, go over here, and then what you want to do is type chrome colon slash slash version, then hit enter. Then where it says platform here, you want to look at the word at the very end, which is octopus for me but it could be literally anything for you guys. So make sure to remember that word. Then go to the chrome100.dev website and do control F. Then type that word that we found on platform at the very end there. For me, it's octopus, but for you guys, like I said, it could be anything. So I'm going to type octopus in here and then it will highlight it and bring me to it here. And then all you want to do is just click see more. And here are a bunch of image files you guys can downgrade to. You can downgrade to whatever version you desire. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to do Chrome OS 91 as an example. So I found Chrome OS 91 right here. I can just click download and it'll start downloading the file. Let's just wait for it to finish. Then when it's finished downloading, what you want to do is go to the second link I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Then on Chromebook recovery utility, you want to click add to Chrome. And if you don't have Chrome, Chrome Web Store also supports other browsers as well. Then you want to click add extension, click X, then click the puzzle piece, then click on the pin icon, click out, then click on it. Then what you want to do is click the gear icon in the top and click use local image. Click on the file you downloaded and click open. Then what you want to do is plug in your USB drive with 15 gigabytes or more. Then it will detect it, click select, select it, then click continue. Click create now. Now you wait for it to finish. Then when it's done, it'll say success, your recovery media is ready. Then just click done, then unplug the USB from your computer. Now go to your school Chromebook and what you want to do is do escape, refresh, and then hold the power button. After clicking that, your screen will go black and it'll tell you to insert a recovery USB. So that's what you need to do. Once it's inserted, the screen will come up again and all you have to do is wait. Then when it's done, it'll say system recovery is complete and all you have to do is remove the USB stick and it'll restart automatically. Then it will boot up on the welcome to Chromebook screen. Then just click get started. Connect to your Wi-Fi. Then just accept the terms. Then just sign in to your account. Depending on what Chrome OS version you downgraded to, it can open up a ton of possibilities and exploits for you guys to use. Depending on what version you downgraded to, it can open up a bunch of possibilities for exploits. If you've seen my video on how to remove extensions on your school Chromebook, downgrading can make that work again too, even after it's patched. So if you want to try that, downgrade to version 91. It also just makes all bookmarklets work in general, which is really cool. So yeah, the use of this is a bunch of exploits you can do by downgrading, getting patched features, and a ton of other stuff. So yeah guys, this is basically how you downgrade your Chrome OS version on your school Chromebook. Enjoy! Thank you all for watching, here are all the shoutouts for today's video, and if you want to be featured in one of my videos, just comment down below, I subscribed, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Anyways guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see y'all next time! Bye.